Elon Musk took some jabs at George Soros on Twitter, tweeting the following. Soros reminds me of Magneto. Now Magneto, um, if you're unfamiliar with that character, uh, Jenk has some details on who he is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna butcher it, I am not familiar with the character. <laughs> okay, um, so he's part of the X-Men, he's the main villain, okay? And apparently, and I didn't know this because I'm not that deep a fan, I've only seen a couple of movies, uh, and maybe Emma knows better, but uh, he's I think also Hungarian and Jewish, just like, George Soros in real life is Hungarian and Jewish. So he is saying like, uh, 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 and he's a villain, okay? So there's some interesting theories as to why Elon Musk is trying to paint him as a villain, but and one that's very controversial, which we'll okay. get to in a second. So apologies in advance, but Ed Krasenstein um, plays a role in this story uh, because he gets into an exchange with Elon Musk over this. So he tweets the following, fun fact. Magneto's experiences during the Holocaust as a survivor shaped his perspectives as well as his depth and empathy. Soros, also a Holocaust survivor, gets attacked nonstop for his good intentions, which some Americans think are bad merely because they disagree with these political affiliations. The way right wingers go after Soros is just anti Semitism. But we can broadly critique billionaire donors having broad influence in politics. It's just the signaling out of him is the substitute for. Jewish in right wing circles now these days. Yeah, you know, look again, I don't know the X Men that well. Maybe Magneto was just a Holocaust survivor and not a Hungarian and Jewish, etc. Uh, but uh, Soros is going to make what Emma's saying a little bit more clear, and then I'll give you the full context. So, in response to uh, Brian uh, Krasenstein's tweet, Elon Musk kind of clarifies what he's referring to to some extent. He says, You assume they're good intentions, they are not. He wants to erode the very fabric of civilization. Soros hates humanity. So uh, look, I am familiar with that argument, right? And it's always in the context of Soros funds the campaigns of these progressive DAs. The progressive DAs don't actually deal with crime, they don't prosecute criminals, and these cities are falling apart as a result. They don't believe in Western civilization. That's the argument that they make in the context of like criminal justice reform and progressive DAs. So I give you that context because I don't know if Elon Musk is specifically trying to be anti Semitic or if he's using this or to make a point about the efforts that George Soros supports and funds. But even that's anti Semitic because mm -hmm. it is this notion that uh, Jewish people are controlling the mechanisms of power. They're the puppet masters and they are influencing. They use this with Bragg too, because he had donated to Color of Change Soros. They're influencing the black uh, DAs or the non white people because they're not civilized enough to be the puppet masters themselves to do X, Y, and Z. So I hear you, but like the thing that I'm concerned about in making that argument is we have to be consistent, right? So when Ilhan Omar calls out the Israel lobby mm -hmm. and then gets criticized as an anti-Semite because oh, she's you know buying into an anti-Semitic trope that Jewish people are the puppet masters, right? We defended her because I don't think that she intended to use a trope. I think she was trying to make a point about corruption and money in politics and honestly did not frame it in a way that was a little more careful. How is this different? Well, because of the context of who he is versus who she is. No, well, I, that's not all. I, you're right, Emma, I agree with you, let me be clear, uh, but it, I think it's, to me, it's night and day, and I'll explain, and I know it requires nuance, right? But not much. So first, of all, everybody forgets what Ilhan Omar said. All she said was about a lobbyist, it's all about the Benjamins. And then they were like, oh my God, that's a lobbyist for Israel or something like that. And so you must mean that you're anti Semitic. No, but it isn't, look, I don't think she meant to, to, again, use a trope, but it is a trope. And unfortunately, like. But it's not a trope. Wait, look, look, there's two different things, guys. There's tropes about, uh, about Jewish people controlling the world and being the puppet masters. Uh, I think Emma interviewed, when you were at TYT, you interviewed someone with a giant. Tattoo of Soros on their back, if you yes, remember, I right? Do. And it was a pup, I mean, it was like half his back, right? Yeah. And he was the puppet master. So it's historical context is super important here. 
for thousands of years, there's been the anti-Semitic charges that Jews control everything and that we gotta go get them because they're trying to destroy all of civilization. And all those conspiracy theories end with the Jews killing everyone, right. okay, or almost everyone. It's really super disgusting. I, I get it, but that's not the only anti-Semitic trope, Jake. Another anti-Semitic trope is that Jew, all Jewish people care about is money. Do yes, that, yeah. yes, yes, okay. yes. So let me make the distinction. So when so when Musk says he wants to erode the very fabric of civilization, Soros hates humanity. He's saying he has bad intent. He is trying to destroy people. You should be super mad at Soros, who's trying to destroy humanity, okay, yeah. with that intent. Whereas Ilhan Omar said about a lobbyist, it's all about the money. So wait, 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 wait. So do we have to discern every time, is it a Jewish lobbyist or a non-Jewish lobbyist? Because for lobbyists, it is literally their job to be all about the money. So if you can't, so I will never agree with a charge. This is often used, and this is what sucks about identity politics and how it's misused and oftentimes by the Democrats. Whenever they are cornered, they will go to, oh, I'm not corrupt, Oh, you're an anti-Semite. Because that guy happens to be randomly Jewish, or that person is in favor of Israel, and you're saying, no, no, don't ignore all of the money that I am taking from all of the lobbies, whether they're Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, Jewish, it doesn't matter, right? So that is a false talking point. You should never agree to that. On the other hand, when they say, here is a Jewish donor, and we're only naming Jewish donors, we're not naming the Koch brothers, the Mercers, all the yeah. the Wilkes brothers, well, all they, of the, and by the way, the they corporations. They love those donors, though. Those exactly. are Republican donors. Yeah, they're Republican and Democratic donors. So they use the charge of anti-Semitism to cover up the corruption for the Democratic and Republican Party. And when they do that, they are deeply hurting the cause because they're the boy who cried wolf. But is there actual anti-Semitism? Of course there is. Yes. And so Emma's seen him. Walter Masterson. I keep saying this. He goes dressed as MAGA and, and QAnon. He turns off the camera. He asks them, and he says almost every time they say, "Oh, it's not really the immigrants. It's not really the gay people, etc. It's the Jews. It's the Jews." I had David Duke on here. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. They all say it. And when they talk about Soros, they definitely mean. And by the way, I, sh I should be clear. I'm sure that not everyone knows the conspiracy theory. I'm not sure that not everyone is anti-Semitic. And so some of them might say it and I have no idea the source is even Jewish. But unfortunately, a big chunk of them do know that and that is what they mean. And yes. it's one thing for a rando that, that Emma's interviewing at a Trump rally to say it. It's another thing for Elon Musk to say it because every anti-Semite looks at that and goes, we know it. Well, that's, See, that's he's why Tucker it. says Soros on his show. Tucker Carlson, when he was on Fox News, would say Soros, Soros, Soros all the time. And that's not because, like, what you're saying, I want us to be consistent too. But I think the point is that the Israel lobby is not really made up entirely of Jewish people in this country. A lot of it's right wing evangelicals. So when you're saying it's all about the Benjamins, when she says that, it's a reference to an interest group. This guy Soros in right wing circles, 4chan, edgelord nonsense has become a substitute for Jews. And Viktor Orban is running ads with Soros' face on it in Hungary as an effort to drum up anti-Semitic sentiment and trying to use that to his advantage. This is a global right wing project and Soros is a substitute for Jews because they can't say it. In the same way Trump wanted to go after Black Lives Matter, but he'd say Antifa because that sounded a little scarier. They're good at these code words. Yeah, and the code word they mainly used back in 2016 was the global elites. Globalists. Which is, yeah, yeah. And globalists. Now guys, that's super frustrating because they actually are global elites. And if you, I, you know, who are they? They're the guys who run all the banks and finance and private equity. And if you look up their boards, they are Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, Christian, Jews. They they don't care about anything but the color green. Okay, that's what it's all about. So when we talk about donors, we we make sure that we talk about it in a broad way. And, and so yes, there are some prominent donors here in America who happen to be Jewish because they're Jewish people in the country. And to, uh, Sheldon Adelson was Trump's biggest donor, he happens to be Jewish, okay? But the Koch brothers have given more than everyone combined and they're not at all Jewish. Yeah. Exxon Mobil is not Jewish. The corporations are the biggest donors. They're the biggest problem and they have no religion, no ethnicity, etc. So one side uses the the anti-Semitic tropes as an excuse to take all the donor money from wherever it comes from and pretend that any criticism is anti-Semitic. And the other side clearly is winking and nodding at some of the most 
dangerous things uh, out there that is deeply anti-Semitic. Yes. And you can usually tell by, are, do they say Jews and non-Jews? Or are they only saying Jews? And I'm never, like for Republicans, the only donor I've ever heard them call out is George Soros. Yes. How about all of your freaking donors? But hold on, hold on. I mean, look, George Soros ex exclusively gives to Democrats and Democratic causes. Which is why I can understand, like when we criticize the Koch brothers, I mean, we criticize money in politics, period, right? Like it's a nonpartisan issue for us because we think the money should not exist, that corruption should not be baked in the political system. But is it possible that they're attacking Soros specifically for what he supports? Financially, through his donation. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, right? yeah, no, no, but Anna, so that's a great question. Number one, I criticize Soros for, because he wants to keep money in politics because he's got a ton of money in politics. And by the way, Soros is a massive capitalist. And so I don't agree with a lot of what he's doing in politics. But that, but there's a way of talking about it where you say, hey, I don't agree with this policy. I don't like that he's putting money into politics, etc. And then you mention non-Jewish donors as well, etc. And there's a, and then they're saying he wants to erode the very fabric of civilization. Soros hates humanity. That is directly from a conspiracy theory. So, and to Anna's point, like like I said earlier, not everyone who says Soros means anti-Semitism. Probably a big chunk of them have never even heard of that theory, right? And so, and not. Everyone who criticizes donors means anti-Semitism at all, right? But do a big chunk of them know that theory? And is that why they're saying Soros? I'm saying absolutely. And within the context of what Elon Musk has been posting, and he's saying, he's doubling down today, saying the Texas mall shooter, uh, there it was like a psyop, some of the reporting on him. So this is the context in which we're seeing this guy get red pilled. I mean, that's why I think you can put it over the top here for sure. And I mean, I'm less credulous about it. I, I Anti-Semitism is the socialism of fools. It is a really simple way to explain away structural issues about corruption and capitalism in this country. And they make it about one group being the puppet master when in the reality it's it's the totality of interests and the way we did, the insane way we've decided to structure our society. And I'll say again one more time, look, it's he's not a rando. A lot of right wingers think he's like the smartest man in the world. And so for them, and they harbor these, they, they've harbored conspiracy theories for a lot of them for their whole lives. And so when they hear Elon Musk confirm it, it's a big, big deal to them. Yeah. So that's the context, you can't, so make of it what you will. And so depends on if you're in a, but, but guys, in a time of massively rising anti-Semitism, I think we should all agree that a guy this prominent framing it this way that is, Tailor made for those conspiracy theories is not helpful. Oh, by the way, we didn't even mention the real reason that Musk might be attacking Soros is Business Insider is reporting that Soros took $16 million out of Tesla, shares that he owned. By the way, if that's why Elon Musk is doing it, that he's the Steven Crowder of the business community. If you burn people who take money out of your company or you who sell shares of your stock, nobody's gonna wanna put money in. Cuz then they don't know when you're gonna burn their house down mm -hmm. when they decide to take money out for whatever reason, right? So no matter what you think of whether it was anti-Semitic or not, it is very poorly played from a business perspective if a Business Insider is right about that information. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.